Welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to look at a very important topic in financial reporting or advanced accounting. So the topic is consolidated financial statement. In your second cycle institution or maybe the first or the second level in your tertiary education, the accounts that you've been asked to prepare are mostly for single entity or they are mostly for single organizations. But this particular topic is an account that is prepared for two or more entities. So we are having two separate entities, but we prepare single financial statement for these two entities. This particular topic is a bit complicated. Therefore, <coughs> sorry, there are several accounting standards that have been devised for it. So we take them one by one and we look at which one we are going to look at today. Okay. All right. So we have the first one to the IAX 27. With IAX 27 is what you have been preparing so far. It is uh, account for single entity or uh, preparing financial statement for single entity. So this is what we've been doing so far. So we are familiar with it. Then we also have IAX 28. This one is investment in associates. Investment in associates. By the end of this particular lesson, you will know what an associate is. So investment in associates is about what? IES 28. And we also have IFRS 3. This is talking about business combination. Business combination. Now, we will remember how goodwill arrives. Okay, when it comes to group account or consolidated financial statement, there is always an issue of what goodwill, because a company is going to acquire another company. So, for instance, if we say we have E, which is a separate entity, and we have B, which is also a separate entity, and A is acquiring B. So this one is purchasing B, but the full as if you value the asset of B, all the asset of B, and you list all the liabilities, the value is eight thousand. So if you value all assets of B, is what eight thousand. But A end up paying cash of eleven thousand. A end up paying a cash of what eleven thousand. The asset to the business of B is what? Valued at 8,000 Ghana cities. And then the cash that A is paying is what? 11,000. Then this gives rise to what? Goodwill. The principle of goodwill. So we have 3,000 as goodwill. So IFRS 3 business combination prescribe how we should treat goodwill. There are sometimes this issue will be vice versa. And if it's vice versa, we we'll have this concept of what we call gain on bargain purchase gain on bargain purchase. How will you deal with it? So I have a three deals with what? With that. Very, very important when it comes to what? Consolidated financial statement. The next standard is IFRS 10. Consolidated financial statement. Consolidated financial statement. So that's what we are going to look at today. IFRS 10. Consolidated financial statement. But in the course of explaining or dealing with IFRS 10, you come across the business combination. You also come across IES 28. This one we are not going to touch it because it's something you've been doing mostly. So that is IFRS 10. That is what we are going to do with today. We are not done. We have the last one, which is IFRS 11. Joint arrangement joint arrangement. This is where two companies come together to acquire the company. So in this case, we are looking at one company acquiring or having a control over another company or investing in another company. But when we come to IFRS 11, we are looking at joint arrangement where two companies. So this place, we, are, we can say that company A plus company C, they come together to acquire company B. Then we are looking at joint arrangement. What is what? Are you supposed to look for and what are you supposed to account in your books? Very, very important. So at the end of this lesson, you are supposed to understand the things that goes into what 
preparation of what? Financial statement. That is consolidated financial statement. Now, without wasting my time, let's look at IFRS 10. IFRS 10, consolidated financial statement. Remember that when we talk of financial statement, we are looking at from the trial balance to the income statement or other comprehensive income, statement of other comprehensive income. We are looking at statement of changes in equity. We are looking at statement of financial position. And we also look at what cash flow. All those things form, uh, come together to form what we call the financial statement. So we are looking at how will you consolidate all those or all these accounts. That is what we are going to look at today. But before then, we are supposed to look at some key definitions. So in this IFRS 10, we will be meeting something like a group. We will be meeting something like a parent. We will be meeting something like a subsidiary. You will be meeting something like what? An associate. You will meet something like a control. What does it mean according to the standard? The standard has given us explanation of all these key words. So let's look at them one after the other. But today, we are mostly going to focus on how to determine control between two entities. Very, very important. Because before you can start the preparation of a financial statement, either it being income statement or statement of financial position or even cash flow, the first thing that the question will require you to do is to determine the control structure. So today we are just going to look at how to determine our control and the subsequent you know, lessons or videos we will look at the other necessary areas. All right, so the key words. So the first one is group. What is a group? According to IFRS 10, group simply means a parent plus two or more subsidiaries. So we have a parent, which is a P, plus two or more subsidiaries. That means we can have only one parent, but we can have more than one subsidiaries. These two come together to form what we call a group. A parent and a subsidiary, we call them group. That is why sometimes the consolidated financial statement is referred to as group accounts. So a parent and a subsidiary, the subsidiaries can be more than one. They come together to form what we call a group. Now, we know what a group is. Then somebody will ask, what then is parent? And what then is what? A subsidiary. What is the difference between subsidiary and an associate? So let's look at what a parent is. So the next one is going to be parent. Please, it's not your parent you have at home, or it's not a parent you have anywhere. This is financial accounting parent. All right. So a parent is an entity that obtained control over another entity called the subsidiary. So we are saying that a parent, an entity, Obtain control. So the key word here is what? Obtain control over another entity. That another entity is what we call a subsidiary. A parent, an entity that obtained control over another entity called the subsidiary. So we just remember that. Alright. So we've seen subsidiary here again. So we have to look at what a subsidiary is. A subsidiary is also an entity that is being controlled by another entity called the parent. Very simple. So the standard has given a simple, simple definition of these key terms or these key words. So if you are looking at subsidiary, we are saying that a subsidiary is an entity or a company being controlled by what? another what? entity called what? the parent. So with this, we can see control coming here too. So like I said, our key objective for this particular lesson is to determine what control between two entities. How do you know that there's a control between entity A and entity B? Or entity C or entity what? D. Very, very important. So now that we know the definition of a group, we know the definition of a parent, we know the definition of what? A subsidiary. Then we can go ahead and look at what? A control. What control means? Please don't forget. A parent is the same as an investor. An investor. So a parent, another word for a parent is what? Investor. And then another word for the same parent is we call them the acquire. Acquirer. 
Aquara. So the another name, if you if you see Aquara or Investor somewhere, means who means what parent. And subsidiary is what Investi and Aquari. Investi and Aquari. So another name for subsidiary is Investi and Aquari. And another name for a parent is an investor or the Aquari. Right. All right.